So today, welcome to another Bookworm Wednesday. And today we are talking about Cinder. Um, and this is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. And I don't even remember when I started reading it. I started reading Cinder probably beginning of March, middle of March, and finished it really, really fast. It was very, very good. And I have read Scarlet and Crafts, and now I'm waiting for winter, but winter doesn't come out till 2015. All right, everyone, that is so terrible. I just want to know what happens. And yeah, I can't believe it doesn't come out for such a long time. I hate reading books and then having to wait for them to come out. I did that with Divergent and The Hunger Games and like all of those books. So now I'm waiting for winter. But anyway, we're talking about Cinder today. Oh my goodness. So the first thing that I'm going to do is tell you my initial before reading the book, what I was thinking. And so I kept, I'm on Goodreads, so you can, it'll be linked down below. Go check it out. I have a ton of books on there that I want to read, like way too many, and I probably will never read all of them, but they're on there. And so, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Oh, before I started reading, it kept popping up on my Goodreads recommendations. And I was like, I kept clicking on it. And I was like, this book seems kind of weird. Like it's about cyborgs. Like, I don't really know if I'm like into cyborgs and that kind of thing. But I really like fairy tales. It was kind of like a cyborg Cinderella. And so finally, after probably at least four or five months of seeing this book, I decided to pick it up and I don't have it with me because I already read it, read it. So why would I bring it just extra weight anyway? So yeah, that was the cover. And so I picked it up and I started reading it. And I was like, whoa, like <laughs> this is really good. Like I was definitely not expecting it to be like really, really interesting. And I thought it was going to be a lot weirder than it was, but it turned out to be really, really good. So Basically, it is about Cinder, this girl who is a cyborg. She has a cyborg hand and a cyborg foot. And she's living in this world where it's ruled by a prince. And there is this huge disease that everyone gets that is killing everyone. And they, the kingdom is taking cyborgs for like the cyborg draft to test different drugs and um, different drugs and antidotes for the, for the disease. And that's what all of the people have been told was going on. And so, yeah, it's just her story. And she ends up meeting the prince because she's like the best mechanic ever. And he brings in his android to, for her to fix. And so it just like explodes from there. And she has an evil stepmom like in Cinderella, um, two stepsisters. One of them is evil. One of them is nice. And it's just her story. And they are fighting against the people called Lunars. And Lunars obviously live in space. And so they're just like, there's always that threat of this queen called Queen Lavana of her coming and like, destroying everything and waging war on what they call the Commonwealth, which is Earth. And it's like her story and there's supposed to be a long lost princess that people have been trying to find, but everyone thinks she's dead. And so it just like goes on. But basically that's like Cinder, I don't want to give too much away. Um, but that's basically what you get. And then it goes on into Scarlet, which I will talk about in another Wednesday, maybe next Wednesday. And but anyway, it is such a good book. I originally thought it was going to be really, really weird. And I wasn't going to like it at all. But it is definitely I would say it is definitely in my top 10 favorite series. It didn't make the top five, but it definitely made the top 10. Um, it's just really interesting. And I like I said, I love fairy tales. And I love twisted fairy tales. And this is definitely a twisted fairy tale. So that is my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on Cinder. And I definitely would say check it out, even if you're like, whoa, cyborgs, like that's really weird. Androids, what's all what's this all about? Like, it's not that weird. Um, 
but yeah, give it a shot. And so that's the end of this review. And I, at the end of every Bookworm Wednesdays, I am going to give like an update on where I am with reading because I did a currently reading book or currently reading video last week. And so I'm at the end, I'm going to update you guys on where I am. So I haven't read any more of Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and I have read a couple more chapters of Looking for Alaska. I'm having a hard time getting into that one, and I'm really sad because I love John Green, but I'm having a harder time. I don't know. I'm going to finish it, but I don't think it's going to be, like, one of my favorites. And I finished reading The Here and Now by Anne Brashares, and it was really good. The ending wasn't my favorite, but I'm going to do a whole video on that one too. But I finished reading that one. And so now I'm going to start reading this book called Dorothy Must Die. And it's also a book about a twisted classic tale. And so I just think those books are really interesting. And they're, I like them because they're, you're familiar with their story. Yet, it's a whole new twist and you get to see different sides of characters. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to start that one. I'm actually going to go outside right now and start reading it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on Friday with another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.